I had a feeling that I would find you here. You saved me a phone call. Come in, we have business to discuss. I suppose that you know that Alan managed to elude arrest and leave the country. I expected this much. Yes. According to the FBI, he took the Spalding jet and went to San Rios. Oh, what did he do there? You don't know? The authorities there had been alerted, and when they tried to detain him, Alan made a break for it, and apparently he was shot. Alan is dead? Well, they didn't find the body, but then again, his only way out was through 90 miles of jungle, and I don't see how he could possibly survive. Oh, he's alive. I know he is. Listen, Alan's um, disappearance is going to cause any number of problems here at Spold. Not at all. My brother signed the papers you drew up for me last week. Oh. Well, that's it then, isn't it? You've won, haven't you? We've won. I told you there would be a place for you in the company when Alan was gone. Yes, you did, but I'm not sure that I'm still interested. You have to be, for Philip's sake. I spent the afternoon with the Chamberlains. They've all agreed to cooperate. Without much persuasion. Only a little. Now we can affect the smooth transition of power. Power, yes, that's what this is actually all about, isn't it? Perhaps. In any case, there's nothing standing between you and all that power now. Hello? Oh, good morning, Baroness. I'm calling on behalf of the committee. I've been expecting you. The committee expects you to honor Mr. Spaulding's obligations. That's out of the question. A refusal to cooperate could be rather dangerous, Baroness. A continuing involvement with the Extabe virus could prove even more dangerous for the committee. No idle threats do not impress one. I have tapes of Alan's phone conversations with you. If anything happens to me, to Spalding Enterprises, or to anyone connected with this company, I will see those tapes are made public. What are your plans for Dr. Reardon's research, may I ask? It will be used to eradicate the dreaming death while turning a modest profit for Spalding Pharmaceuticals. Very well, Baroness. But don't be surprised if you hear from us again. <laughs> you know, a woman like that would be a very valuable addition to our organization. You do have those tapes. I was bluffing. Uh -huh. And what happens if the committee calls your bluff? They won't. <laughs> Are you going to accept my job offer, Ross? I don't know. What position am I being offered, exactly? The presidency of Spalding Enterprises. I wouldn't waste a man like you on anything less. No. Look, if you're suspicious for some reason, why don't you draw up the contract yourself? It's fine with me. The Chamberlains agreed to this? Yes. In fact, it was their idea. Now you will have absolute authority until Philip and young Brandon are ready to assume control. By then, of course, you'll be wealthy and powerful enough to do whatever else you want. Well, do we have a deal? We do. What's 
that. Uh, you leave me alone, huh? You, and Tony, and Annabelle, and everybody. I mean, once people start being nice to you, you know, it's like they want something. And when you don't deliver, when you can't give them what they want, man, it's like... They turn on you. And you get hurt. Love me tender, love me true, feed me something new. This is all new Love Me Tender Chunks. See how different it is? It's the only dry dog food marbled like tender meat. Marble tasty, tender chunks. See how good it tastes. Give me love me tender chunks, cause I love it so. All new from Kennel Ration. Renews it. Renews it. Renews it. Renews it. Renews it. Renews it. A little or a lot. It all depends on the odors you've got. Renews it in the closet, open just a touch. Renews it in the kitchen, open this much. Renews it in the bathroom, open wide. Helps keep your house smelling fresh and clean inside. Renews it. Renews it. Renews it. Renews it. And we're price right. Wrap the gift yet? No, my arthritis is 